Hey YouTube, this video is on the 7 things you should do after first installing Ubuntu 16.04 Xenial as we can see here. So I'll go through the list now without any further ado. So starting off, go to your start menu of sorts, your Unity menu, and the first option is to update your software. So I want you to go to something called the software updater as you can see there. So click on that, get all the last minute updates that you do need. That might take a moment, so just follow the prompts when it does go through and make sure your software is all up to date so as to prevent zero day attacks and things of that nature, just to be safe. So moving on, Number two, what you want to do is select the best server for your software updating. So what we need to do is go back to that start menu there and go to a program named Software and Updates. So we'll click on that one here. Let that load up for a moment. And here we go, download from and select your best server. So hit other go to select best server and it will from this point as you can see start testing all the download servers so let that do its thing that will also take a few minutes so be wary of that and moving on I'll just cancel that for now so next is part three or number three is to install the media codecs for mp3s, mp4s, videos, even some Java and Adobe Flash content actually. So for this one you actually need to open up a terminal. So let's open up a terminal just from scratch. So go to your start menu and go to terminal. Let that load. And what we do need to do is type in the following in order to install all these video and uh, audio codecs. So sudo apt install Ubuntu dash restricted dash extras. There we go. So hit enter on that, throw in your password, and just follow the prompts on that one. Now, of course, I've already installed mine, but yeah, just follow the prompts, as I've said, to continue so that you can then play a lot of uh, multimedia content. Great, moving on. So number four is to use the Unity Tweak Tool. Now, I'll just quickly show you it, guys. You will need to install this one the Unity Tweak Tool. Go here, let this one open up. So it's it's really quite good. You're able to customize a lot of features, particularly pertaining to the Unity interface that is Ubuntu's desktop interface here. So all of this. So as you can see, the launcher, which is usually on the side, get into that later, but down the bottom, you can change the size, you can change the, the quality, the colors, all of that. The search functionality too, you'll be able to change all that as well in the Unity Tweak tool. Um, also the ability to not have advertisement show up, which is great. The panel as well, which as you can see is all this up here. Switcher, web apps, window, workspaces, all, all of that sort of thing. So it's very helpful. I won't get into anything in particular here for the moment, but I will tell you that the Unity Tweak tool is great to use. So as a part of step four, what you want to do is actually install it. So go to the terminal and type in the following command, sudo apt install unity tweak tool. Whoop. Yeah, there we go, great, already there, double tap and hit enter and follow the prompts of course, enter your password and let that one install. Mine of course again, already installed, newest version, but just follow those prompts, hit yes, enter and uh, there you go, you've got the Unity Tweak tool to play with. Okay, moving on, step six is to, best way is to show you this one, but it's to decide where the apps menus show up. So, bit of a mouthful that one, but I'll start off by going to the system preferences to show you guys this. So go to system settings, then go to appearance when it shows up and it's pretty much moving this information here. So see where it says help? It's usually up here or all of these options here are typically up here as default. Now I've changed this personally and you guys might like to as well. So go to all settings and then appearance or system settings and appearance, let that load. Go to the behavior tab and I'll show you something as it's working in, in the live moment, I guess. So we've got show the menus for a window. We can have it in the bar up there, help, or we can have it here, help here. Now also there's menu visibility, so you can turn it on and off when you hover. So let's move that across and we'll see how it switches. I mostly like these two bottom ones. It's what most people do prefer. It's completely up to you, but just to let you know that this is an option that does exist is always helpful to know. So there we go. And last but not least, as you might be asking, 
how to move the unity bar to the bottom as opposed to the left hand side. Now there is a smidge of code to do this, it's not really code, just more of a setting through the terminal, so let's actually just open up a new terminal again, just from scratch. Might throw this in the middle a little bit, there we go. And type in the following, which is already saved up here somewhere for me. There we go. So it's g settings set com.canonical.unity.launcher space launcher position bottom. Now this is all case sensitive, so do be aware of that, particularly regarding here. So if I were to make this option bottom, it already is, so nothing will change. But if I were to make this say left, let's see that move to the left. Classic Unity there. But a lot of people are enjoying this, as am I, so going to keep it that way. Again, not something you always have to do, but uh, I, I think a lot of people will actually take this option up, see how it goes for them. Alright, cheers guys, that's about it. That's the seven things you should do after first installing Ubuntu 16.04. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment, please subscribe, and thanks for your time. Ciao.